First of all, I want to take this opportunity and thank um, the organizers of this event, uh, the Wade Foundation and the Pacific Ocean Commissioner. And uh, it's great to be here uh, uh, in Athens. Uh, with this warm weather, we feel like we're at home. And, uh, and the leaders from the Pacific, uh, good to see you. Uh, Minister Brown, President Simina, and uh, all the ministers and uh, friends that are here today. We, uh, this year, are opening officially the Office of the Ocean Pacific Commissioner in Palau. And that'll be on October 1st. So uh, it also happens to be our 30th uh, year of independence. So anniversary. So we hope that uh, all of you can come and join us for the big party. But uh, one thing I want to acknowledge is the, the work that uh, Prime Minister Sovaleni and I uh, worked together uh, to get done at COP28. And that was an, a, a significant milestone uh, when we launched uh, and got commitments for the unlocking Blue Pacific Prosperity. This commitment of, uh, that has already been announced uh, in Dubai was for 225 million. Uh, but it, we really believe it's just the beginning of what promise, promises to be uh, a series of transformative actions. And, and it is imperative that we translate these actions and these commitments into tangible outcomes uh, as we endeavor here at this Our Ocean Conference. Uh, we welcome and encourage the participation of additional partners uh, in advancing this important agenda. Secondly, Palau and the wider Pacific region have demonstrated their commitment uh, to ocean governments by being the first, among the first, to sign and ratify the BBNJ. Uh, <laughs> FSM beat us to be the first to sign, but we followed right after. Uh, along with 80 other, 88 other signatories uh, but uh, President Sim and I can say we were the first to ratify it. So we beat you to that one. But uh, along with Palau, Chile, and Belize, I think uh, the progress toward the required 60, and I hope Greece will follow soon, uh, to put this uh, instrument into action. Uh, this has the potential to revolutionize ocean management and practices and address pressing global challenges uh, such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution. Let us uh, hopefully set our target for this instrument to enter into force at the third UN Ocean Conference in Nice in June of 2025. Uh, this just will further underscore our commitment uh, to ocean conservation and sustainability. Thirdly, I want to speak about uh, plastic pollution. It remains a critical concern for the Pacific region. Despite contributing one, only less than 1.3% of the mismanaged plastic waste globally, uh, with projections now indicating that the future, by 2050, there'll be more plastic than fish in the ocean. We know we need urgent action. And we reaffirm our steadfast support on the ongoing what did I say? Oh, okay, there. I lost it. On the on ongoing negotiations on the comprehensive international legally binding instrument on plastic pollution. Addressing marine pollution through such an instrument is vital for the health of our marine ecosystems and the well-being of our future generations. In conclusion, Palau and our Pacific neighbors are dedicated to the global efforts for ocean conservation and sustainability. Our actions, informed by traditional knowledge and values, are driven by our urgent need for solutions. As custodians of our ocean, we recognize the interconnectedness of our actions with global outcomes. We look forward to a productive 
uh, discussions over the coming days as we work together for a healthier and more sustainable future for our oceans and humanity as a whole. Thank you again, and I uh, eagerly anticipate positive outcomes of our deliberations. Thank you. Thank you.